like a fat boy who loves chocolate cake. Yo guys, so right now we're somewhere near the Wangan Interchange. Around there. Taking some night shots since you know if you work in the weekday, you want to relax for a while, take some shots out at night, Saturday. And we're gonna take this. Uh, I'll be using the FP1 instead of other Polaroid 180 camera or 190 camera. Right now we we'll just go there, head out. Here's today's setup. I've got the, the Fuji FP1. Okay. Yeah. The reason why I chose the Fuji FP1 for night shots it's because if you use the Polaroid 190 or 185, I mean 195 or 190, it's really hard to look for a releaser for those kind of cameras because it's, it, it runs on the special um, releaser. But for the FP1, you can uh, just get any kind of long releaser and you can have a nice long exposure shot. The reason why you gotta need a releaser is obviously because if you hold this down like this shutter with your finger and then you release it it's gonna be like you know you, you actually move the camera so you want something to isolate yourself from you want to isolate yourself from the camera so that when you go like click you see a little the movement on your hand doesn't really much doesn't really move the camera too much and your image will be alright and when you're done, you just clip it back and it's done. So you put the film in the back, like this. All right, and then you close the back, clip it, and then uh, pull it out. Voila. So we're gonna take some night shots under this Beautiful bridge. Can we see it in the dark? We can't really see it in the dark, can we? Yeah. After everything is set up nicely, here are some shots that I took with the camera. I have a really important note for you guys. You must get a really tough tripod. A strong, hard tripod is a guarantee to your steady, long exposure shots. Some of you might be asking, why shoot with an instant camera and why not a digital camera? You guys know my regular bullshit reason is because it's more romantic. But from what I see, the photos taken with this instant camera has more mood in it. Probably because of the big capturing medium. Well, you know, it's really hard to explain, but you can see for yourself in the photo what I mean. Just wanted to show you guys a weekend of my life, nothing much. Hope you enjoy the photos and loving the camera. If you are an owner of the FP1 camera, congratulations. If you haven't get a chance to touch one, ask around on the internet. Or if you live in Japan, you know, contact me. I'll let you touch it. Definitely. Thanks for watching today's Mijonjo show. I'll see you next time real soon. Bye bye.